Good morning to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Did you hear that rooster just crow? It's morning indeed. <laughs> I say good morning to your health in the name of Jesus. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your destiny. Good morning to your spiritual life. Good morning to your children. Good morning to your family. Good morning to your businesses. Good morning in the name of Jesus. Let the light of God shine in your life. Let day manifest. Let morning manifest. Let the darkness scatter and let joy show forth a beautiful face in your life. I say good morning in Jesus' name. Jesus. Welcome back to the channel. Remember wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Our verse for today is from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10, which says, Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Listen, people. Many people make this declaration and this confession that God is the most to them, God is the priority in their life, and this and that and all those things. Okay, while I am not outright calling you a liar, I'm just saying, why does not your action, you hear the rooster crowing again? While I am not calling you an outright liar, I'm asking, why isn't your action matching up with your confession? I mean, if God is important to you, then give him the best. Give him the best part of your day. Give him the first of everything. The first, the best. He deserves the best. In the days past, when people would offer sacrifices for their sin and all this stuff, they would offer the firstborn of whether the bull, the goat, whatever it is. And it had to be spotless without blemish, it had to have no sickness, no ailment, no scars, and not cripple. There had to be nothing wrong with it. And the firstborn, that is what they would offer to God. But we, we don't remember God at all. We don't pay tithes. Now, some of you might say, well, paying tithes is not a New Testament thing, it's Old Testament. Okay, fine. Let's, let's remember tithes. You don't put offering. You have things and and let's just forget about the money okay tithes and offerings one thing we acknowledge you already don't give that but what about your time what about your time you don't even give god your time you try to give god a time when you are most tired or you try to give god time that you don't want understand this and understand this well you are giving god time that you do not want why am i saying this you say Oh, but I go to church. I go to church on Sundays or I go to church on Saturdays. Yes, you go to church on Sundays and Saturdays because you do not have work on those days. If the pastor or the leader of your assembly would put church on every Tuesday at 10 a.m., would you still be going to church? I am guaranteed you would not. Because you would say you have work to go to. And you would use the scripture, Oh, God say, if man doesn't work, he should not eat. Blah, blah, blah. You are giving God time you don't need. You are giving God things you don't need. And going back to the book of Malachi, God say you are calling his table contemptible when you give things that you do not need. He said, go give them to your governors. Would they appreciate it would they be happy with you no they would not stop giving to god things you don't need time you don't need and you here is the other thing we think as if oh when we put money is god directly giving it to but understand how you treat god because according to the book of matthew chapter 25 jesus said as much as you do it to one of the least of these my brethren you do it to me. So, the torn clothes that you give to the poor, this is what you are giving to Jesus. The clothes with holes and they are messy. The food that you do not want. The shoes you do not want. The things you do not want for yourself. The things that are good to be thrown outside. 
Why is this what you are giving to Jesus? You say, but it's not Jesus. Yes, you are giving it to Jesus because Jesus said, and as much as you do it to one of the least of these, you do it to me. Honor the Lord with your first fruits. When you get paid, take out something. Give to the Lord. If someone give you a gift, find a way. How can I remove from that gift to honor God? Who is hungry that I can help? When you help the hungry person, you are feeding Jesus. Who is thirsty that I can help? When you help the thirsty person, you are giving drink to Jesus. Honor the Lord with your possessions. Yes, you can sing. Hallelujah. You honor him by singing. You honor him by dancing. You wave your hands and you pray. You honor him that way. But the word of God say, honor him in your possession. What value is it to you? If you are hungry, and I just tell you I love you. Even the book of James say, what kind of love is this? If somebody come to you hungry and destitute, of daily food. They need food. And you tell them, go your way. Be blessed. I hope you find food on your way. And you have food at your home. God say, what kind of love is that? This is not love. But this is what a lot of you do today. You say, oh God, I love you. But you love God of your mouth. No, show him your love. Show him. Give him tangible love. Tangible. For God so loved the world that he gave if you love God, what are you giving to God? I mean, what are you giving to the hungry? What are you giving to the naked? What are you giving to the poor? What are you giving to the thirsty? What are you giving to the fatherless? What are you giving to the stranger? What are you giving to the widow? If you love God, what are you giving to them? Honor the Lord of your possessions. God Almighty, does he really need anything that you have? Does God need your money? Does God need your clothes? Does God even need your worship? What does God really need? He said, if I was hungry, I would not tell you. What can you really do for God? But yet he said, honor him of your possession. That means find somebody who need it and give to them. And do not just give what you do not need. Do not just give the old shoes that is unsticking. Do not just give the old backpack that is torn. Do not give the clothes that is stained all over. No, find something good. What you would not want for yourself, do not give it to somebody else. Honor him with your first fruits. The first you get, you take out the side, give to somebody you need. Put it in the offering that the church, that where you put it in, they would give it to someone. That's what he said. Bring the tithe and the offering to my storehouse, that there will be food in my house. When you bring them into the house of God, this is food for somebody who is hungry. This is clothes for somebody who is naked. This is house rent for somebody who is poor. This is how you honor the Lord. Too much time you hear people saying, oh, I am a servant of God. But you see somebody, they are hungry, you don't help them. Which servant are you? You are a liar. I finished up. This will bring our video to an end. I thank you all for being here with me today. I say good morning to you. And congratulations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just a quick reminder, hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe, hit that bell, that post notification. And uh, we'll see you next time. Good morning. And congratulations. Your joy has come. Your promotion has come. Your breakthrough has come. I see you growing. I see you moving forward. I see you going to the next levels. I say good morning to you. And congratulations. In Jesus' name. They Jesus. Call me.